Hello there, Dr. Stenbeck again, and today uh, we're going to continue on uh, different holistic health topics, particularly your defense against the negative energies of other people. And as you can see from the chart, uh, in each show we're dealing with a different health issue from a holistic perspective. And uh, on this show is very important because it's almost the first thing I need to address on anyone who's sick or ill, diseased, not healing because it interferes with your healing to a very great degree. Now I've alluded to this nutritional priority system uh, several times in previous shows and uh, you'll notice that the upper level is spiritual body and particularly today we're talking about the first line here your vulnerability to negativity. And it's at the top of the chart because it really is the most important thing we can talk about. More important than the emotional issues, your nutritional issues, your spiritual issues, your mental issues, or any other issues. So now let's get on with it. Now I'm going to address these uh, six issues and starting with your energy field balance and then about how the aura becomes torn and then about how to defend yourself against it being torn and then around the aspect of being under attack while you're asleep and then total defenses against dark energies or evil energies. Now the energy field balance, the aura, you, most, of us, most of you know that you know, there's an energy field or an aura around the body and uh, there's been a lot written about Kirlian photography and how it can photograph the, the aura around the body. So we all have an energy field, it's an electrical field and it uh, has an a outer limit to it which can be torn and the symptoms of such a tear in the aura where the energy field becomes out of balance as you see there is total fatigue and weakness, a low immunity, a rampant hypoglycemia and many other symptoms. It also makes you more vulnerable to attracting negative people and experiences into your life. And many of us have gone through that. It happens because your aura is not intact. And we, in, in, in the aura and in, and in understanding what happens to it, uh, the most common thing that we see is you being vulnerable to a negative person. Somebody who has a negative mind, negative personality, and if you're in a relationship with such a person, you're particularly vulnerable to their energies affecting your energy field and breaking it so that your energies can just pour out of your being out into the universe and you become fatigued and drained and uh, also if you talk to somebody on the phone sometimes you've had the experience of hanging up and just feeling completely drained. It's the same situation. Sometimes you need spiritual healing to correct these issues, uh, hands-on healing uh, or some sort of spiritual therapy like uh, Reiki or Shen or crystal therapy. All of these, these things are helpful in bringing us into uh, energy field integrity. Another common symptom of having a tear in your energy field is you can just suddenly at some point in the day after you've been exposed to something that causes this problem that you get so fatigued you want to sleep. You want to lie down and just sleep for half an hour. And this is another uh, indication that one is vulnerable to this type of problem. Now in terms of defenses of your energy field, the obvious things like abuse of alcohol, drugs, etc. breaks open the energy field. Uh, this is well known uh, in the metaphysical field uh, of uh, healing. It's very important to remove any negative emotions you have with anybody. Now of course we talked about this in the earlier show on the emotional body. And this is just another reason why you should get rid of any and all negative feelings that you have left over from childhood or adult problems. Fear, dread, terror, anger, rage, fury, hopeless, helpless, hate, sadness, resentment, bitterness, etc., etc. If you're holding these sort of emotions against other people, then it also will interfere with your God relationship. 
because you can't access the positive feelings, the positive opposites to those feelings, which you not only want with humans, you want with your God relationship also. If you have any negative feelings around God, or church, or religion, this is something that must be corrected if you want to have defenses against negative people and to not become sick or ill or not recover from an illness because of this reason. So, defending yourself is the key. You restore the torn energy field with different aspects of spiritual healing, uh, prayer, music, crystal therapy, essential oils, hands-on healing. Uh, any of these techniques that is right for you uh, will strengthen all of your weak muscles in minutes, moments even, as you come back into auric integrity. Uh, the most common thing I see that's needed uh, is in sacred geometry and is the need to visualize around yourself twice a day a specific geometrical figure in a particular color and to say something like this as you do the uh, visualization. Uh, it, for Christians it would be I invoke the uh, particular shield around me for protection from all negativity and evil coming from me which should return to God for healing for myself and for anybody else who can receive it. It's just a typical template for such a protection. And it's hard to know exactly what symbol you need and uh, that's why uh, you, know, you basically need a healer to work this out for you. I can do it on the website uh, if you uh, want to access my help with it in that way. And then I want to uh, talk to you about another aspect of this defense we have to have. Now, some people complain of seemingly having a good night's sleep and always waking up exhausted. Sometimes having dreams like battles and against bad people and uh, wars, etc. And very often this is you being under attack while you're asleep. And the key to resolving this is working out what is the right geometric symbol for you through the sacred geometry, with what color, and to make sure you invoke it at, at bedtime. And that usually takes care of that problem. The uh, total defenses against worse energies than we see in the average person, which we can call darkness, dark energies, evil, whatever you want to call it. This of course predisposes that you have a belief in uh, darkness and evil, as most of us know about, and the fact that uh, they have evil energies, and there are also some places you can go to, some neighborhoods even, which you can feel a darkness or a, 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 an evil in that community. Now, it's true that God, or goodness, defense, def defeats evil. But, uh, we have to do whatever we have to do to help God help us. That means you have to take care of your mental body and your emotional body and your spiritual body and get rid of all the negative emotions. You have to eat right. You know, God's not going to put the right food into your mouth. You have to do this yourself. And so, we, have, we are responsible for taking care of these issues. You cannot expect God or your higher power to protect you. And a lot of people have this problem. They think because they are on a spiritual path and they believe in God and feel close to God, that therefore God will protect them. That is absolute nonsense. Uh, we are responsible for doing it. God's not going to do it for us. And it's easy for us to accomplish, as I hope you're getting that indication from this show. If you happen to be very close to God, on a spiritual path, you may not need such protection. But you've got to be at a very high level. You've got to be someone who actually can sit in prayer or meditation and feel the presence of God in your being. And that's not many of us. I don't know, maybe one to five percent. Not many. I've worked at different times in uh, spiritual groups. And I've found people who are in ashrams or very dedicated to their God ev evolution that they don't have this problem because they have risen to such a high level in their spiritual evolution. 
You know, there's a helpful uh, biblical related phrase for Christians here, uh, invoking the blood of the Lamb of God for your protection. And uh, all of this, by the way, is uh, available to you on my website and uh, free chapters from my book where you can look at this uh, at your leisure and uh, get this information. So that's the key things I wanted to say to you about it. Now on the website, drstenbeck.net, as you can see here beside me, uh, there's many things of interest and I want you to uh, take advantage of uh, asking any one question about a uh, health issue and I'll be happy to give you some free feedback on that. If you have a complicated healing situation, we'd need to do an online consult. So, you need to pay attention to this particular show and do some sort of uh, spiritual healing to maintain your auric integrity. But there's a lot of work for you to do for it to work for you. You've got to take care of the, all your mental, emotional, spiritual issues. Nutrition does not come into this. So this is not physical healing, yet if you don't take care of this factor, you will not be able to heal physically in a holistic manner. Well, I hope this has uh, made you think of it. And uh, that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Okay? All right. Bye for now.